Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am doing a few face drawings and um, they're by request. I uh, get a lot of requests to draw faces even though um, I do have a lot on my uh, YouTube, but I have also over 900 videos. So I know I wouldn't want to go through 900 videos. <laughs> so I just figured I'd come on and, and draw. So I'm going to move my camera. And I'm going to start down here. And first, we're going to draw um, just a plain, I call it a folk art face, but it's kind of like, it's not your total folk art face, which I will do next. But this is just where I do, uh, where I'll draw the face. I'll do them smaller, though. When I draw the face, I, I do like the chin. And I do these differently. Sometimes I put in the eyes and all first. Sometimes I do the head first. It depends. Depends on my mood. And I know for me, when I'm trying to draw a smaller face, um, I have to do the face first. If I go and start my eyes, I know they're way bigger than I want them to be. So, okay, it's not going to stay in focus. So as you can see, I just am drawing... You know, and if you want your chin to be a little bit uh, more pointy, you definitely can go and do that. But this is all you're going to do. Okay, you see, just have that little little point there. And then these, which you can definitely erase again. And for starting out, I suggest for you to take your line halfway at your chin and just take it up. So you kind of divide the face. You can see it's completely not even. Uh, at this time, you can uh, change this to make it a little bit more even on this side. I don't worry about it, but you definitely can. And then I go half, about halfway down, and I'll put the line going across. And I will go down probably maybe a... Depends on what kind of face you're doing. Usually you want to do like an inch or so. So I'm going to just do the nose here, and then a half an inch for the lips. Okay, and then I'm going to take my other pencil. I love drawing with mechanical pencils. So you want to leave about a eye's width in the middle from your eyes. So if you make your eye this, we'll just do this. If we make your eye that wide, you want approximately that same width here and then for your other eye. And you can play with that and, you know, whatever way you want. And then you want, you know, it depends on what kind of bottom on your eye you want. You can do straight. I'm just going to make it like an almond shape now. And then we can get into other ones in another time. But I'm just going to go from this line to this line and do the eyes. Now you can see they're a little off. This one's a little uh, smaller. But look, it, nobody's eyes are uh, complete, completely the same sizes. But here we go. Then I like to go in and do a circle in the middle of each eye. So I'm just going to do a circle here. And you make them as big or as little as you want. You can use a template if you have one. Got the circles. Then we have the nose. So I'm going to erase that little line. I know where it's at. And I do noses different, uh, you know, different ways. So how I do it is I just put a little almost like a U and then I'll bring it down this way down this way with the line and then you can bring it up this way now you can see it's kind of a big nose um so you can go in once you get you learn the uh, technique to at least put a face down then you can go in and you can say you know what I don't want those that big I want them small, so I'm just going to, you know, go in a little closer and make them a little smaller. Very easy. The lips. I do the lips. Usually, I'm just, I just draw them on. If you want to be, you know, if you're learning, I just don't, I do it fast because I don't want people to get too caught up on doing it. Just follow as I do this and you should have no problem. Um, so the lips, okay, here's our line. So what I like to do is... You want this line to be in the middle and you want it to be, you know, fairly close to the, think about your nose and lips and how far apart they are. So just have a line go this way, have a line go this way. Okay. So you have a line here, line here, and then make a line down here for the bottom of your lip. 
Now we're going to kind of connect it. So we know the bottom of the lip, it curves up. So we're going to curve it up that way. And we know here it kind of goes up and then curves down. Goes up and then curves down. And there you'll have the base of your mouth. Now erase that line inside and draw, you know, you want to make the, the lip where your, uh, the line where your lips separate. So just go in, put a line there, and then you can see this bottom part's a little smaller than maybe I want it to be, but you know, now I'll go in, I erased that little part, and I'll just take it down from here to connect it. And you have your mouth. Then you can go in and you can erase your lines. And you have drawn your first face. That simple, that easy, that, uh, and you can see mine is not, um, you know, I'd probably move the chin up, but that's all, you know, not important at this moment. This is just so you learn how to do the eyes. Now, once you get the eyes in like that, you want to go in and remember, uh, your pupils are always the same size. They're always in the middle of your eye. So if you're, if we, when we draw this three quarter and we're looking that way, I'll talk about it then. But right now we're just going to put two circles and you can see my circles are not, uh, on point. I usually, honestly, I use my, uh, drawing. Color them in just so you can see. And you see we have eyes. Now you want to add eyelids, I mean uh, eyebrows. Just throw your line there. And then these are very uh, wide open surprise eyes. So if you want to make them a little uh, more closed, a little more normal, um, although that's how I feel today, just take it from corner to corner on the top. And I'm going to shade it in. You don't have to. You can erase it. But it gives you that, see the difference in the eyes, same eye. So again, corner here, take it to the corner there. And you can erase that line in the middle and then go to town there. And look how that changes that look. Now you want a neck. The neck, you know, you can play with this. You can make the neck very thin here. I like to go like right here and right here. And then that's the neck. And, and then hair. Hair is not my favorite thing, but... Uh, you can go, uh, let's say we want her to have like a side part. So I'll just kind of go like this and bring her hair down like that. And then bring her hair down like that. And you play, you know, you play with how, but this is the first hair I'd probably tell you to do. Very easy, nothing, nothing too much. And there you have a nice little face. So definitely a folk art face, uh, fun to do. Very simple if you follow those. Now, like I said, I would go in, I see it, I can see it when I look, you know, when I sit back and look at it. So that would bother me. So I would start if it's too much, which some people have bigger chins, it's not a big deal. But I would start, you know, I'd go up a little bit closer and that I can still see that line somewhat. And I would kind of bring it up like that you know, and play a little bit more and just bring that up a little bit more. Do you have to? No, you don't have to. But that is the very quick how to draw a face in what? Under 10 minutes. Very, very simple. Very easy. Um, this is for all you, uh, beautiful souls out there who have written me in the last a couple of months to start teaching again, how to draw a face for all of you new to mixed media and art journaling and all that. There you go, my friends. And, um, that's just a simple way. Now you'll go on, you'll draw, uh, Kathy Spires, uh, draws faces all the time. A lot of you guys do, uh, and she gets better and better and better. So, you know, you start off, do it and then do a couple a day, just sit. It takes no time. It would have taken me five minutes to do that. Uh, if I wasn't explaining and just keep doing it and you will see yourself improve. So as always be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Please share this for me. Uh, share it to people that might be uh, wanting to learn how to draw faces. And just share me around the internet and share the love. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.